Welcome to Chef Andy. We're making rainbow, rainbow halibut. halibut. Welcome to another episode of Chef Andy. We have a very exciting guest, my father, Richard. Hey. Hey, when Andy was growing up, he'd always say, Dad, I want that rainbow halibut. That was the name that we came up so that you would really like fish. And if anybody doesn't like fish, they're going to for sure like the rainbow halibut. This, it's delicious. This is the most amazing recipe. And by the way, 99 or 95% of all the recipes that we've released so far, they've all been my dad's. Stuff. Well, thank you. It's all about the taste. Remember, if you got good ingredients, it's going to taste really good. And this is super delicious. Before we get into it, what's also delicious is when they subscribe to the channel and become a part of our food movement here on Chef Andy. So make sure to subscribe. It's free. Andy, I didn't know it was free to subscribe. It's free. So what do you do to subscribe all you do is you click on the subscribed button you have to have a youtube account my subscribe. mom thought it cost money your grandma i know so why are we cooking halibut right now well i'll tell you halibut is the largest flat fish in the world there's lots of fish flounders etc mm -hmm. these fish get up to 500 pounds oh in alaska the fishermen when they're fishing it they call it the refrigerator of the ocean or That's of the sea it feels like a refrigerator <laughs> when you're pulling it up it's on the end of your pulling it. what the heck's going on so, and when andy was a kid I'd always tell them the story about, you know, the halibut has two eyes, but when they're born, one eye is on each side of the fish, right? Well, when they're small, one of the eyes actually migrates over to the other side <laughs> of the fish. Right now, halibut is in season, so that's why we're making it here today. My dad's been making this halibut, like, almost every weekend, and I'm like, Dad, we gotta have this on the show. All right, let's get started. So we're starting out with strawberries. Strawberries, and remember, Andy, you can use any white fish for this. But the halibut's especially good. It's fun to have this fruit though because everybody loves fruit. So when you put the fruit on the fish, everybody's gonna really like that. The halibut always picks up the flavor of any food that's with it. So if you want your fish to taste like fruit, that's why you add fruit. But we've got some other little secret ingredients here, Andy, that it's gonna be unbelievable. Come on. You know what, I'm just so excited we get to cook together. My dad, he's the one who taught me how to cook. So your strawberries, you're, you're kind of cutting them in little cubes, right? Little pieces. But you know, Andy, you can get any kind of fruit that's in season. I mean, I think even pears and apples would be great. So whatever's in season in your area, you can put it on your fish, it's gonna taste Fantastic. Kiwis are one of the great fruits of the United States now, but they're from New Zealand and Australia. Yeah. <laughs> I love kiwis. And you know, a lot of people don't know, Andy. Here, taste this. It tastes like a cat's tongue. Oh, wow. That's the fur. I've never tasted That's a the cat's fur tongue. On a kiwi. We are. Mm. If I did taste a cat's tongue, I'd imagine it tastes like yeah. this. It's a little sweeter, though. What's sweeter, the cat's tongue or this? <laughs> okay, here we go. Look at the insides of these. There's a lot of seeds. Look at all those seeds. Those are all little kiwis right there just waiting to become kiwis. So he's just slicing the kiwi crossways and then dicing those up into, into small little pieces. All right, I'm gonna peel an orange, Andy. All right, nice cut off the top, cut off the bottom, make it so it's stable, because you always want to be stable with your knife. Mm -hmm. And just take your knife and go along the side. Don't worry about cutting too much of the orange out, but you just want to get all the white off of there. And then you take those skins and you squeeze all the juice into your fruit salsa. Squeeze it in there good. You don't want to waste any juice. Now we got a good old mango. Now you were telling me you can use other things besides mango. Yeah, you know, I like to actually use papaya, but this mango, they're in season. You always know when the halibut are in season, the mangoes are in season too. So you're just cutting around the mango and- yeah, There's a big seed right in the center of these mangoes. Okay. Mangoes grow on trees. Mango tango. Wow. So how'd you learn how to cook, Dad? Well, you know what, I like to eat. <laughs> and uh, when I got married to your mom, gosh, that's been like 35 years ago. Come on. She only knew how to make Rice Krispie treats. Oh. You remember that? <laughs> you should make those on the show one day. <laughs> only when she made Mom's <laughs> only recipe. <laughs> that was the only thing she knew how to make. So I was like, wow, this beautiful Italian girl that I just married, I thought for sure I'm going to be eating big the rest of my life. And you know what? I was right. I started cooking. Okay, what we got next? Well, this is one of the beautiful Haas avocados. How do you know it's ripe? It's just a little bit of gentle pressure. You can feel it kind of uh, just, just starting a little to give bit in. of give. And I like the Haas. So they're the ones that are kind of bumpy. Yeah. And they're just buttery. It's like eating butter. And uh, I wow. like it. Look at that. Wow. Bingo, bango. And I just <laughs> pop that out. A lot of you guys like doing this with avocados all the time. You just scoop it right out. There you wow. go. Wow. Look at that. And then we 
We're gonna slice it up. You know, I know when you go to the grocery store, sometimes things are a little bit more expensive, but maybe they're organic or in season. Well, you know, it, it's fun to go out to eat, but when you go out to eat, a lot of people don't consider that whatever you pay, let's just say you paid $30 for a meal. Yeah. Well, only $10 of that is for the food. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd rather go spend $30, $30. on the food yeah. and make it myself. And I can buy the best of the best of the best. So you really don't have to worry about you know, comparatively yeah. going out to eat. You know, they only spend about 30% on the cost of food. Wow. Now, some of the fast food places, they only spend 15 cents out of every dollar on the food. Well, I can spend the whole dollar just on food. So I always figured if I'm eating it, I'm gonna buy the best. Shallots are like in the onion family. Kitu is chopping up really, really small. The best thing about filming in my dad's house, they have like 30 clocks on one on this floor. You know what clocks do? They remind you that time does not stand still. It's always moving. You're always trying to catch up with it. So I like lots of clocks to remind me. Imagine Andy with four kids. We had to buy a lot of good ingredients and make some good food. There's your shallot, Andy. Where do we go Boom. next? Going next to the jalapeno. jalapeno. Now we can't do these until you're 16 years old. Yep. But a jalapeno, I'm just gonna go for make it. Make sure you're 16. Now there's some people in the world that say, oh, take out the ribs. And take out the heart. I don't, I don't do any of that. The veins. Yeah, I don't do any of that stuff. He leaves the spice. Nope. I just figured, you know what? It helps the kid grow up a lot faster, right? <laughs> Look at all that jalapeno. Put wow, that in there. beautiful. I promise you, no one's gonna even know that you're having fish. All right, cilantro, Andy, I think you know. Some Fresh. people call it Chinese parsley. Did you know that? No. And it comes from coriander. The little berries that are on there are the coriander. You can't get this stuff eaten out, and if you did, it would cost you three times the food. Just remember that. So whatever the food costs, eating out, it costs you three times as much. Here we go. We're putting that cilantro, that Chinese wow. parsley in there. Yeah, well, I've got mom's olive oil. Yeah, you know? this is the best, guys. It's incredible. Dona Bella Elise olive oil. This stuff is straight from Florence. We cold press it, so it leaves in all the beautiful nutrients. Andy, I know a lot of people think you put a lot of salt, but you actually don't. If you went, When you go out to eat, there's so much <laughs> sodium. But when you use kosher salt, it looks like a lot, and it's not. Okay, Andy. You want to get your hands dirty? You want me to? I, you, well, yours are already dirty. All right, so a little you might bit as well dirty. just dive right in. All right, here we go. Wow, look, look at, at the that. colors on oh, that. Oh my goodness! The gracious. rainbows are coming. Where's the fish? Come on. Got the fish right here. So you got a pan? You got a pan. All right, we're gonna do this. Put some olive oil on the pan. Put it on the fish. Put it on the fish. Yeah, just put a little bit on the pan. Put some on the fish. Rub it in good. Up and down the fish. There you go. Put it on the pan. Okay. Give me that lemon. I'm just gonna squeeze that on there. Oh, wow. Andy, so you pop this fish in the oven at 350, 400 degrees. It takes like 10 minutes. Well, I'm excited. Let's put this in. All right. Andy, hurry up. Pull that <laughs> fish out because it's gonna keep cooking once you get it out of there. You got something hot? Oh, no. Woo. Wow, look how beautiful this looks. <laughs> Andy, I got my shovel out here. It's my fish shovel. Here we go, Andy. That's a big piece of power. Whoa, baby. Take a little more. Olive oil on there, and uh, we'll put a few greens around here, Andy, just, just to kind of spice it up we'll a little bit. Dress it up there a little bit. We'll dress it. People think it's a salad. We're gonna we'll <laughs> camouflage it here a little bit. Look at this. Oh my god! Look how that looks. That is beautiful. Like nobody knows what's underneath there. Wow. Crazy, huh? That's incredible. I'm just gonna use all this fruit, Andy. It's so delicious. Yeah. Take those microgreens and start decorating. Wow. Okay. Come on. Just, just oh, sprinkle. Come on. You can go faster than that. <laughs> There speed cooking. <laughs> All right, that's it, Andy. It's wow. ready. You got that pepper mill. That pepper? high speed pepper mill. Hit a little pepper? Yeah, I always hit it with pepper. And then use some more. Now, what I like to do is save on salt. Pop it with some of that diamond salt. A little kosher salt? Yeah. There we go. Wow, this looks amazing. We got to try this. All right, Andy, I want you to see does this fish taste like it did when you were 10 years old? Well, I didn't have those taste buds back uh, then. Here, you got to try it. Nope, this. you try it. I uh, want to know if it uh, tastes like it did. Here we or go. If it tastes better. Hold the plate up to your mouth and shove it in. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> that's incredible. Mm, that's, that's that's rainbow halibut, Andy. That's life changing right there. It doesn't taste like you're eating fish. <laughs> it tastes like you're eating rainbow halibut. Yeah. This is better than it was when I was dead. This is incredible. Remember, good ingredients, you got good food, Andy. That is your rainbow halibut, Dad. Thanks for being on the show. You're welcome. Love you. I love you too. Put in the comment section if you want to see my dad cook again with me. <laughs> also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and join our food movement here on Chef Andy. The rainbow halibut, there you go. We'll see you next time in the kitchen. Ciao, belly.
And if you want to see Andy on the show again, just put in the comments section, bring Andy back. Otherwise, you've got me on Chef Andy. <laughs> That's my show.